Okay, we are here with Cortland graduate student Danny Donegan and junior Megan Kramer following Cortland's 3-1 loss to Elmira in the NCAA Division III tournament first round. Danny, we'll start with you as the captain. Talk a little bit about tonight's game, uh, about the atmosphere. It was obviously a close game. It was just very similar to the game you had with them here during the season, uh, coming down obviously to the final seconds uh, of the contest. Talk a little bit about tonight's game and some of your feelings just in general. Um, our first NCAA appearance, which is really cool. Uh, just being here at the rink with the banners up, getting the patches on our jersey was really exciting for us. Just we've never been in a situation like this. I know Elmira is pretty used to this. They're almost in this situation just about every year. Um, just having, getting to experience a game like this with the people who have made this season so special was. It, it made it pretty cool. Um, the game obviously didn't end up how we wanted to, but we're leaving this game saying that we left it all on the ice. I'd say that although we didn't win, every single person was putting in their best effort, and you can't be that upset about that. Megan, talk a little bit about your goal. You guys were both involved on that play. Uh, at the time, down 2 nothing. momentum was obviously in their favor. That kind of swung things back a little bit. Talk a little bit about the situation, what happened on that, and, and how that lifted into the end of the second period and, and what was being talked about. Yeah, um, well, the past three games, we've kind of came back from being down, so we felt it before, and we were really resilient the past three games, and we know how we had to go out there and play. We knew we had to come back. And so I saw Danny with the puck, and I played with Danny all my years here, and she's the most unselfish <laughs> player I know. So I just knew she was gonna pass it to me, and I I don't need. I, I was like, wow. Honestly, I was shocked that it went in because it was crazy. <laughs> but there was no better feeling. Like so many people here, it was so loud, and I think it really lifted the bench and the crowd and it gave us a little bit more hope going into the rest of the game and we never we never quit after that well congratulations you're in the history book as the first ever portland goal scorer in an NCAA <laughs> game awesome. so, That's awesome. uh, danny talk about the progression of this program you've been here through a program that's been growing yeah. and getting over the hump this year of not just getting to the conference final, but winning the conference final, beating Plattsburgh twice during the year, including that championship game, and being in an NCAA tournament. Is this something you could have envisioned four years ago, five years ago, when you came to school here? And, and talk about that progression and what it's meant to have this program grow the way it has. Yeah, um, I'm not somebody that likes to think too far in the future, especially with hockey. Um, as a freshman at Cortland, or I guess as a senior in high school, Cortland was just the best fit for me academically. Um, I was familiar with some people who had went here and it, I took a visit on campus and I was like, yep, this is the school. Like right after my visit, I knew it was the place. Uh, my freshman year, uh, I will just say like our team has progressed so much from then. Um, we lost in semis and playoffs my freshman year. Um, and since then, I mean, there was a COVID year in between, but. Every year we've progressed a little bit farther. Um, my junior year, we made it to the championship against Plattsburgh. We lost in overtime. That was huge for us. We've never done anything like that before. Um, last, last year, we made it to the championship again. But last year was a year that we beat Plattsburgh, which had never been done in the league before. Plattsburgh had never had a league loss, which was like, it's, it's cool to see the little progressions after each season because there's little pieces that click together as as it grew and as the team grows and has, as we get new people and people leave. And it's nice to see like the support from the people who have left too, like getting a lot of text messages and saying like, you guys are killing it. Like we miss Cortland seeing each other. I'm gonna be that next year, I'm gonna be here. I'm, I'm just from Syracuse, so I'll be here at most of the games. But this year winning SUNY X is like, like I said, I don't like to think too far in the future, but like this is everything I could have ever dreamed of. Like that was just unreal to us. It was the best experience. Um, we knew we could do it because we've played them in tight games, but doing it when it mattered was was extra special for us. And Megan, you're a junior, so you've got the future to look forward to. So what does this mean 
how this season played out and now looking ahead to your senior year and what expectations and hopes and the excitement that probably comes with that. Yeah, I think this year, this was a really big year for us. We put ourselves on the map. We showed everyone what we can do, you know, winning our first SUNYAC title and having it being the first SUNYAC was something really special. And I think it's gonna draw a lot of attention to people in the future. And I'm really excited for next year and I'm, I'm hoping we can bring it back. Well, I mean, it's, uh... The steps have been made and the excitement's there. And right, we are the only ever SUNYAC champions yeah. at this point. Yeah, <laughs> one and <laughs> yeah. So yeah. one and one and in the conference. Um, any final thoughts about, again, this season as a whole? I mean, it's a long season, right? You're, yeah. you're going in early October, uh, you know, in September. You guys are playing through and out to March. And here you are yeah. in March, uh, you know, March 6th. Talk about this trip, this, this, this journey to get to this point. Yeah, we talk about it like all the time. I I think we're probably the longest uh, season for a sport team where we play. We, we start captain's practice as soon as we get here and at the beginning of September and we play up until March. It's a really long season, but there was never a moment for myself and I feel like most of the people on the team where we were like, I'm so tired. I wish we had a break. Like it's been so fun. Every, every practice, every game, like we just look forward to it and I, I can't I couldn't have wished for like a better team this year yeah, yeah I think there was no no better time to do this you know we're all best friends we've played with each other starting well starting off my first year when we went to overtime with Plattsburgh and we've just grown so much since then and I think like the the loss in overtime like it only brought us closer and it gave us the opportunity to come together and know we deserved we deserved to do that this year. And I think nothing nothing but positive for the future, especially although tonight's not what we wanted, but we still made a pretty big name for ourselves. And that's all we could ask for. Wonderful. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. No, I'll be back. That's right. Yeah, the next people will have to deal with it. <laughs> there are no next people. Okay, well, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you.